Good morning. Day number uh, seven after this breakup. And uh, so seven days ago, uh, she started packing her stuff to get out of our home, to leave our home. And uh, it's been, uh, you know, a week. <clears throat> so, what an emotional roller coaster ride breakups are. <clears throat> they, I'm sorry, I'm coughing. I feel like I still have a little bit of a cold or, or something going on here, but yeah, like, <laughs> what an intense emotional journey it is to uh, get over a breakup. So, just remember to take those deep breaths in. I shared it early on that I've been doing this practice of every time I breathe in, I remind myself uh, that I love myself. So every time I breathe in, I say, I love you to myself. And every time I breathe out, I breathe out whatever negative energy I'm feeling inside. <clears throat> and that's helped. Uh, but I wanted to talk about some other things that have been on my mind. So the loss of a relationship in a lot of ways is a is kind of a death for us, right? And it's important to go through the, the grieving process a little bit. Um, you know, I've had a couple of uh, pity party days, I guess you'd call it, over this past week that I've uh, been on vacation uh, right as this breakup was happening so it's it's part of the process right but I think uh, for me something that I've I've come to realize is that uh, the image of the person that I had in my mind of the woman that I was with and what our future looked like what our relationship looked like uh, what we were together what we were gonna be together in the future is all a, a dream or a fantasy that I I had at the time of during our, our relationship right and that, that stuff a lot of that stuff is just nonsense like the idea that uh, this woman that I was you know I felt passionately in love with is was the perfect woman for me you know you can you can go into these negative thought loops where your ego is just messing with you and it loves drama and it loves uh, intense emotion right so if you start to get into a negative loop and start to think about and I found myself doing this like I was watching videos old videos of us uh, yesterday and found myself like oh my god we were we, we were so good together we were having such a great time oh my gosh we had a great family all of these things and you got to stop yourself from doing that <laughs> so uh, part of doing that is realizing that that's not true, that that person wasn't the one, wasn't the one really meant for you because in order for, you know, a, a good, healthy relationship is two people that choose to be together, right? And uh, there was something, you know, there that didn't make that work for whatever reason. So it's part of, part of letting that go, letting go of that fantasy, letting go of that image uh, your ego had for yourself right so I think that's that helps me when I think about that you know and embracing the idea that there's something else better for you out there and that's true because every if you look back on your life every relationship that you've had in the past has led to something else that has been either substantially better or incrementally better than what you experienced before and that's part of us learning and growing and you know part of our part of our journey here a point to our journey here right so uh, it's just just part of it right <clears throat> so one of the things I did yesterday was an exercise on uh, healing myself and healing my internal heart right so one of the things that Stefan was talking about in his book that I mentioned in my last video is that we all carry around 
a lot of emotional pain and hurt from the past. And if we don't look, if we don't work through those issues, we have a tendency to carry them into other relationships and affects every part of our reality because we have this, we're suppressing this, this deep eternal or internal pain, right? And suffering. So he talked about uh, going through and making a list of everyone that you felt have hurt you in your lifetime and, and why, what, 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 did you feel, what you feel they did to you in those circumstances. And, by, and I did that and by doing that and writing it down, it really gave me a sense of feeling of like release, of like letting go of this, this, this weight I was carrying on all of these different things that, uh, and people uh, that I felt like had harmed me in the past. Uh, so that was really cool to, to do that yesterday. Uh, the next step is to write uh, a letter to each of the people that, that hurt you. So that's going to be working on I'm doing some today. <clears throat> my brother's here, so uh, he came up to visit. My parents are going to be around, so uh, I'm going to be uh, surrounded by family this weekend. So I'm looking forward to spend some time with them too, which is another thing you should do when you're going through a breakup is uh, try to reconnect or spend as much time as you can with friends and family and those people that love you, right? So I hope you guys have a good day today, uh, and I'll see you soon.